Well, here we go. Uh, another rituals bomb. I should, I, I, let me try to explain this. Uh, well, let me say six weeks ago, I started this ritual where every Monday, the Mon Mon I fast every Monday, but Monday is a day of the week that I'm born. And so every Monday I fast and which is supposed to go through a ritual bath and all the rest of that stuff, but what the hey. Um, and it started uh, because uh, six, no, 90 days before this first six weeks ago, my brother had passed. And so I was doing 90 days where my brother had to do this whole Yoruba off of altar, you know, the whole thing for for, for death. And so that uh, that um, first, that, that after that 90 days, uh, I wanted to get a big bottle of Guinness and just do a libation to him like that, you know, Guinness, like when we talk about the Guinness, the uh, extra stout, that real stuff. And, um, but here they didn't have the, the, the real big bottle, so I had to end up getting a six pack of these little ones like this. So what I did, like I always do, I started a ritual because that's what I do. Hey, <laughs> so 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 that first time I, you know, like that thing. So this is the sixth one and the last one. What the, the, the significance of this one? I just opened it up. Is that um, for the last two ones? I only did uh, three uh, poor libations to. Um, you know, the people of going before first was my brother, then then the next week was somebody else and somebody else. And, you know, people are dying all the time. I could pour a libation. I'm outside now. But now I'm thinking that, no, that's not how this ritual is going to go. I'm not pouring libation to people of going before. And I can't really do uh, people in the future. I could, but I can't, right? And so, um, hey, Nala, it's the doggy. Um, so, uh, and I, I exist right now in, in my this portion of my life. I exist in what I call the third infinity. So I don't actually know how to deal with the third infinity. So I guess what I should do is I should pour a libation to the past, which be which would be the you know the infinite past, right? So I'll do that right now. I'm not gonna do any words. Anything. What incantation? I see the money must be out must be back in the rotation. And then what I should do is is do something for the for the future. Right, so but I'll do that. I'll still sit, I'll stay seated. I'll do it like this. That's for the future. There's my ritual. Got that now. And of course, now I gotta drink this. Now, the thing is, I should do say something like uh, what I'll try to do when I pour this kind of beer. I just I like I like to see the whole head go. Um, I'm going to talk. I might have been talking for a long time because there's a lot to be said because we're at this time. In fact, I better change. Right now, I'm, uh, right now I won't have my fraternity hat. So that's my that's my my ex, my family that I've had since when I make the return in 1966. My family since 1960, even before then, because um, I put the, you know, because that uh, well, because it's the cadet corps. I grew up in the cadet corps. Right, and uh, that's a long story, you know. New York City Mission Society, Cadet Corps, Penisco, Military Fraternity, the fraternity, and, um, people who know who know, you don't know, came out of the feather, uh, and a bunch of other things. A lot of the founders of uh, Greek fraternities, like Omega through sci-fi and stuff like that. I think even Alphas, something like that. And uh, then it's now it's the, uh, it's the um, Penisco organization. So this is my Ogun cap, you know, it's green on one side, fully black on the other side. A little faded, and uh, with a dash of red. That's that's a goon for that that migrates to the northern hemisphere or to to North America, if you will. And so, when I put this on, don't think of it as uh, whatever you think of it as. Think of it as my goon cap, which means I'm in a, a not a war footing. Here's the whole thing about a goon. I've explained this many times before. But a goon is really, uh, yeah, yeah, he's the water guy, but you know. With the grass skirt and the iron, da, 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 da. but the iron also signifies that it's, it's war, it's, 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 it's the ultimate war material, if you will. Uh, but also, it's the ultimate healing material because that's what sur your surgical instruments are made out of iron, you see? So, so Ogun's also deals with, with healing, with, 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 um, with healing, with, with medicine, whatever, you know. And I've been a, when I was in the, I was in the service, I was a medic actually, so I'm. Perfectly Ogun. And then, of course, Ogun is also, uh, uh, people don't understand, it's the architect, the, the, the planning out, not the planning out of Floor's War, just the planning, the laying out, the, the, the laying the paths and stuff like that. So I look at things with, I look at things as, as, as um, how should I say this, as, 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 as cycles and, 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 and well, paths, just, just, just ways of, of getting, getting through a jungle, if you will. Uh, I've lived in a jungle. 
Uh, should I put these glasses on? Uh, put this on for a little while. Now I put that on a little bit later. Let me let you keep on seeing my eyes. Um, now there's this thing, there's this thing in Christianity where they say you're born again, right? Never made any sense to me. That means that, you know, your good Lord that messed up the first time? Well, I don't know about all that. Um, I actually don't believe in being born again, but I believe in being, uh, uh, I shouldn't say made or remade. Let's put it that way. Made, remade, made. And so, for instance, I say, and I got this from an old blues man, because I was interviewing this blues man one time. I, I do a lot of interviews. I still do a lot of interviews. <laughs> His name was North Carolina Slim or something like that. And I said, but wait a second, you've been living in Long Island for like the last 20 years. Wait, how you been? He said, I was made in North Carolina, wherever it was, right? And so I said, wow. So I was made in the South Bronx, right? And um, and since then, um, I, I was, uh, I've been made in a lot of a lot of things. My my specialty, if you will, if you want to call it a specialty, my, my discipline, whatever, is audio drama. And even in audio drama, I uh, I did rituals in audio drama. I'm actually an audio dramatist. I I, I actually had a ritual to, that made me in, in, in my graduating my big ritual for audio drama is a thing I did uh, a palm wine drinker, uh, where I had this whole thing that was done. Only my spiritual advisor actually knows what really happened. He said, "What?" He saw this. And he said, "What?" He said, "Oh wow!" Because I was like naked. Nobody saw it. Whatever. And Shari speaks Patrick did it. It's, it's, it's complicated. Don't worry about it. But but David knows. Um, so I was made in audio drama, but then then I'm thinking now. You see, I have this thing on. You see, it says um, "Made in Alice." Alice Eddie Candy. Eddie Candy. This is a. Uh, um, uh, let me let me let me go back. I have to go back. When I first came to Africa, I came to Senegal, and I went to Gory Island, whatever have you. And um, the whole a lot of things I was I was possessed. You know what I mean? I was taken out of there. There was a whole bunch of things that happened. Uh, and it's not that I was made there, but I was um, aware that 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 is a sacred space for me, right? And then I came back the next month, and I went to uh, uh, the Gambia or, or Gambia, and I saw my third eye there. So that whole area there, I know somewhere that's 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 where a lot of stuff happens. And I, I tell you too, I refuse to go back there because I don't feel. <laughs> Because <laughs> they tried to yank me one time, so I don't want to deal with it, right? <laughs> hey, call me a coward if you will, but that's just the way it is. Wait a second. Okay. Then uh, then I came to South Africa. There's a whole other story. I came to Africa to do audio drama. My, my, uh, I was invited there. That, that. One thing led to another, n another. Let me back up for a second. I have never been in my entire life, since I left the South Bronx, which I grew up in, I never lived more than three years in any one location, one, any one place. I don't know why that is, but I got to I got to South Africa and I got to Cape Town. And when I looked up, I looked up one day and said, wait a second, I've been here 10 years. I'm going like, no, <laughs> I got to get out of here. <laughs> so I did. And I was, go essentially I was going to um, University of Fort Hare to, to, to do some studying and whatever, have you, some advanced degree. Uh, but, um, um, uh, but when I got there, I got to Alice, and when I one of the first things I said, this it's on tape, it's on my YouTube channel, somewhere there. I said, uh, "I'm made in Alice, right? Alice is the Eastern Cape." So I feel like because of the stuff that's happened, uh, whatever have you, I'm again now made again or made in the Eastern Cape. So my base right now is the Eastern Cape of South Africa. I'm not there right now because of. <laughs> Because Americans are Americans, and, and you know, the South Africa rightly said, "Hey, you ain't <laughs> no Americans right now." You know, they even uh, like put a thing on my passport. It doesn't matter. Anyway, hopefully, I'll get back there. Um, my wife and I, or well, my wife, we made up our mind when this thing started happening. They, they, they banned me from coming back. Well, banned me, banned Americans from coming back. We said, "Well, look," I said, "Well, let's let's do it like this. This is like like I'm a soldier, which I am." And I'll be going for 18 months, the 18 month campaign. So this was like March. So so we figured by hopefully I would get back by by back by her birthday in April, right? And so we just adjusted our brains to that. So it's not a it's a hardship, but but you know we we, we adjusted, right? And it was good because she she she's going through some stuff and she understands some stuff like that. Anyway, and in it's it. it a lot of people go to Africa. They go to Egypt for knowledge. They go they re repatriate into Ghana and a lot of other places like that. Um, as I said, I'm a child of Ogun, so my thing is a little bit different, right? Uh, I'm also uh, in the pantheon of, of uh, 
of the Chinese pantheon, if you will, on the metal tiger, uh, and, and, and the American Indian pantheon on the on the woodpecker, tenacious, right? And the uh, and the Mayan uh, pantheon, I'm the uh, what's called a white world bridger. I bring things together. Uh, we had a whole lot of things. Uh, my, my name, my name. It's well, in in uh, in in a in a Tulsa culture or in the southern, I'd like to say a southern African uh, uh, pantheon of that culture. Um, Lichote, which is uh, basically if, if he's the Lichote is the warrior, but 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 if you're if you're if he's on your side or you're on his side, you're the warrior. But 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 if you're on the other side, he's the ultimate enemy. You know what I mean? Like the ultimate whatever. You don't want to face this person. Uh, oh, and I grew up Catholic, Catholic Church. I'm Saint Anthony, Saint Anthony, which is you know the cat in the, in the cave, you know, with the birdies, you know, you know, with the animals. The first monk, right? The one that created monkism for for at least the Catholics, right? Uh, and I've always traveled alone. I like whatever. I'm, it's not that I'm a, I'm not I'm, I'm a loner, but not a loner. It's kind of weird, you know. These hold these two things it, in theater. There's this exercise we used to do where you're supposed to hold two separate thoughts at the same time. You know what I mean? Um, uh, sort of by Edmund Cambridge, but uh, I think Martin Lant, uh, Land Landau does it. But anyway, a lot of acting teachers, people in theater, you'll understand what I'm saying. Um, what else can I just talk about my just myself for a second? Anyway, let me let me leave it at that. That's that's enough information. Too much information. This is all. Well, I'm like, the reason I'm talking to you this way is because we're coming to a point. I'm coming to a point now. I've got to go back to New York uh, and do some really some 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 research, whatever, for political reasons or whatever it is, political stuff. Uh, but more importantly, uh, the way the world is going right now, uh, I'm not fearful because, like I told, like I explained to my wife the other the other week, you know, you can't have fear. You know, you can't have worry. You have to uh, put on the armor of love. You got to put on the armor of love. That's how you're going to get through this thing. The armor of love, right? I'm, I'm also fortunate that every time something happens, I sort of see things right before it happens, you know. And right now this society is really crumbling for a number of reasons. Um, uh, and and uh, I'm going to try to... In fact, let me give you two answers right now. Uh, when I say give you, I'm not giving you anything. I'm I'm just articulating. What happens when I articulate? Not a, I don't I don't have a lot of people listening to me. Don't want a lot of people. If you ever get an email from me, it says um, I, I I follow no one and I seek no followers. That no one does means that I don't follow a person. I follow you know the, the, the third. I'm in the third infinity. Don't worry about that part either. But what all this means is that I, I have this thing. I, I've got to. Man, I'm here with. I've got to get down to Eugene Redmond and try to find this picture. This is. T-shirt I used to have, and you think the words was it Odorophoro. Anyway, it, it's supposed to mean I can see just beyond the horizon, just beyond the curve, right? So what happens when I articulate stuff? A lot of the times, stuff happens all around. And a lot of people is articulating when I'm articulating. And then what happens is like it's like what I call a jump theory. So we all uh, at the same time have this revelation, and we all hit the same time. We'll shake the shake the universe, shake shake the earth, if you will. Okay, I got rid of all that stuff now. Back to what I was trying to say. Uh, there are certain things that you have to do to prepare yourself. First of all, um, uh, I'm ADOS. ADOS is my political stance. Uh, uh, um, is uh, my, my I, should, I should say it this way. ADOS, people are getting confused. ADOS is an identity. Okay? I'm an American descendant of slavery, or like, or I like to say, a North American descendant of chattel slavery. That's what. That's my identity. That's my lineage. I should say, right? They said, "Well, it's just slavery." Okay, it's the important lineage for, even though I go beyond that. Like I said, I've been to Africa. I know that. I know my African roots. So I'm also a Pan African as 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 a chosen identity, okay? As a chosen identity, and also a lineage. I guess is in there too. But for this moment in time, uh, politically, I have to align myself, or I do align myself with um, with with the uh, Ados movement. Because it's a very important movement. Now, let me just say something. That, let me articulate something that I haven't articulated to anybody yet. The important thing to me about the Eidos movement is, is, is the fight for the scheduling, the, 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 the debt due, the, the, of the reparations debt due, is that uh, in, 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 in forcing this debt, we should be able to, I don't want to say bankrupt, but, but basically, well, uh, alter the, the, the financial schemes of this United States government, because the debt is due from the United States government. So if they have to pay us, uh, you know, uh, 
I'm saying, follow me on this. Or something. If them, if they have to pay us, tw- um, how did I, how did I say that? I said 82, 82 trillion in fiat money. Their fiat money, 82 trillion from the from the from the from the uh, Bitcoin world, 82 trillion from precious metals which would come from Africa itself. Don't worry about that. I explain that someplace else. I think it comes to like that, something like two hundred sixty-four million. I whatever. I forget what it is. Some 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 outrageous number, two hundred sixty-four trillion or something like that. Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, but my interest in, in Ados is that, that Ados, the way it's built, we're built in nodes. You know, there's this there's this spider that exists in in uh, in, uh, in um, Southwest Africa that they 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 they, they do the spider web. It's done these spiders they have their own little nodes and they capture bigger things like that so i think of ados as this as this these little nodes all over all over first the united states and then some of us i'm ADOS, i call myself ados international right that 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 we 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 cover the entire world and the networks can talk to each other right now you okay so networks can talk to each other at the same time because the networks can talk to each other what also is very important is that we have this situation where how do I uh, uh, remember with the lineage, even though we, we identify lineage as starting as to, because of the dead do, this is just a dead do, the the, uh, the uh, reparations do has to come from the lineage that starts from the dead do for this particular government, the, the government, the United States government, they're concentrated on that. Then, then you have to start from slavery, right? But beyond that, remember the debt is also due from those African situations and those 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 slave ships and those the, the, those institutions, those um, we call it um, the the um, insurance companies and you know the Catholic Church that that goes beyond the slavery thing, right? So that's a debt due in that sense. That that's where I get the the, the precious metals and stuff like that. Uh, uh, and also before, remember, 1776 is the demarcation for for American descendants of chattel slavery. But before then, we have these other demarcations. Okay, so what so, so what am I saying? I'm trying to explain that because of this, one of the most important things is the cryptocurrency, is Bitcoin, because only through Bitcoin can you communicate all over the world with one sovereign, with your 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 own sovereign, your your own bank, right? There's no middle person, right? So if I want to. Uh, 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 a trade with somebody from Ghana is better to do it through Bitcoin than to try to do fiat money from from the states or from whatever the Ghanaian money is, right? Or the South African rand versus no, 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 no. And my my idea right now also, I have them firmly established in, in the Eastern Cape, right? Well, you know, whatever have you. But I also have some other things happening in the Eastern Cape, which uh, uh, um, I'm not going to tell you. But my, my projects has to do with their projects that 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 how I say um, uh, they. They like experimental. I say experimental. Uh, li- little fe- ah, little ways of, of how these how the world can go after after COVID or after this this wave of the the collapse of, of the Western world, right? But one of the things I want to do, one of my other bases I want is Malawi. So anyway, everybody's going to Ghana and they're going to whatever they're going to. I want to go to Malawi. So my base will be in South Africa, Malawi, and the United States, of course. Don't worry about that part. I'm just articulating it now because I need to articulate it, right? Okay, hold on a second. Hey, look, I'm not going to be drinking for a long time now. This is the last drink I'm going to have for a long time. The, oh wait, maybe I might drink, uh, I probably will drink um, New Year's Eve because there's two days of the year, my my birthday and New Year's around that time. I'm trying to expand it's like three days. You're like New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, the day after, whatever have you. Uh, where I can curse and I can also alter my state. Right. Other than that, the rest of the year, um, uh, um, whatever have you. So I should be, I, I will be in Canada. Oh, man. I'm, good. I'm planning this stuff right now. So got to, they, they got to, to let me in Canada. Got to take the COVID test. So right before I have to come back here, I'm in I'm in Missouri right now. I have to come back to St. Louis. I have to come back here for the um, for that Christmas week, right? Because I'm leaving from here to go to Canada. I'm leaving from uh, um, from Chicago. Take the train over and then go to Vancouver and then take my train trip to to a uh, four day train train trip to Canada. But that time period, I think what I try to do is take the COVID test here at the um, at the uh, at the VA here in Canada. So I'll be like some days when I get to the border, they can say, "Hey, this test is only three days old or whatever it is," and they'll let me. You know, I'll be good. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. That's my plan. You gotta have a plan. Plan, plan during the pandemic. You know, then the pan this pan this pandemic is is, is this has been planned. And now you got to plan on top of the pandemic. You know, you gotta have your plans. Um, 
But uh, so so that's one thing you have to do. What I was going to say. Um, so so make your plans now. Please make your plans now. Uh, 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 they're not going to help you if you're trying to wait for a, 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 a what do you call it a, a vaccine. Don't wait. It, 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 it's, vaccine is going to take at least another half a year. I'm not even not at least no, two, three to four years. I used to be a medic. I'm telling you, I haven't had a vaccine. I haven't had a vaccine. I haven't had a flu shot since 1970. <laughs> you know, get your B12. Get uh, get your zinc lozenges. Get get get. Yeah. I, look, you better f do your research to find out. You have to know your own body. But don't take no... Now, I know, for instance, I know my body. I can't take shots because my nervous system reacts to shots. It's not the shot. It's not the thing. It's actually the some some weird... The way I'm wired, my nervous system reacts to shots. That's, I, will, I will freak out. Do you know what I mean? So I know this. So I don't take no shots. None. You know, last time I took a shot, I, I want to get into it. It was like, I, I, and I'm, there were no shots. I'm sorry. If you can't get it orally, um, uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, don't get me wrong, man. It took my tooth. I had to get an overcame, so it, it hit that. Okay, okay. True that. Okay, so there's always an exception to the rule. Okay, what else do I got to tell you? Okay. Um, so now you have to understand that what's, what's happening right now be, please be secure in your in your grouping of people, right? Because the way this is happening, uh, all you people uh, 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 with this whole uh, uh, Biden-Trump thing, you know what I mean? It's not going to come out good no matter how you look at it. It's not going to come out the way you think, right? Even if Biden wins, he, he, he already said he ain't giving you no, no health care. He already said he's going to increase the police the, the police budget, you know? So you ain't winning with that. Trump, we don't know what's going on with that boy, right? So uh, what I'm trying to explain to people, like, please do your do your due diligence. If you are in a red state or a blue state, and you know, for instance, Biden is going to win, I'm talking about ADO specifically right now. You don't have to vote for Biden. Well, everybody's voting down. You need to vote down by anyway, and you need to find judges and do your research. This judge or this or this sheriff is is no good for your community. You need to vote them out. This is your last chance to do this. Vote them out. You know because you know all these judges come from whatever and. Uh, Okay, you, you understand what I'm saying with that. But if you live in a, a red state, you know that Trump is definitely going to win. Then you don't vote. You don't vote for Biden. You leave either you if you, if you can you write in. You know, I, I say producejustice.com. Uh, uh, you know because I'm a, I'm a denizen of Miss Neely Fuller Jr. Won't get into that right now. Or if if you're really sophisticated, you can vote, put uh, ados101.com. You write that in if you can in your ballot, not to spoil the ballot. If not, just leave it blank. Do not give them, do not do that. I'm talking about if you live in a, a, a blue state or a red state, you know some of you can vote green if you want. Well, vote green. Vote another party, right? Because what you don't want to do is you do not want to give either Trump or Biden a mandate. In other words, they say, we won for this much of the popular vote. That's a mandate. Then they'll say, we got the mandate to do whatever it is. But if they don't get that mandate, in other words, if the electoral college, which is going to do it anyway, picks the picks in one of these two uh, uh, racist Anglo racist white supremacist old men, perverted old men, let the let the, that's what they said to do. Let that electoral college do this job. Now, if you live in a, in, a, in, a, in a swing state like I live in Virginia, then you got the power. <laughs> then you get then, then well you, you you got to think about it. You know what I mean? Let me put it that way. Me, I don't have to think. I can't vote for Biden because the number. I can't vote for Democrats because uh, they're the ones that that they through um, uh, a beam. He's the one that kicked all or, or, or got rid of the SROs. You know, kicked all the mental people out on the streets and and you know just messed up New York like that. Everybody thinks it was Lindsay or or was or even De Blasio. No, it starts about with a beam. And you know, and don't get me started on Dinkins. You know, don't, don't even Dinkins is, was 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 Obama before Obama was just a sniveling, spineless. Howard, <laughs> oh, let, me, let, me, let me not get off of that because I know your love, your, your love, Obama. You know the one that put all this military equipment in these police, these little police fiefdoms that's doing all the damage. And now you think that Biden, who put, who gave them the equipment, you think that he's going to take the equipment out, military equipment out? Get real. Anyway, back to the point. Uh, and I can't go for Biden because my because like like I said my my, my older brother was was homeless for he just passed you know he was homeless that's due to a beam the Democrats and a beam right my younger brother died in jail in the nineties and that's also due to Biden but it's, but but he died in jail now so how am I going to vote for somebody 
who killed my brother in jail. No way, I can't do it. Can't do it. What did Trump do? I don't know what I don't care what Trump is doing. You know, he, he's marshaling his forces. You, you you deal with you deal with the boy. That's your problem. I didn't I didn't look. The white women put put Trump in office. Okay, white white men, white women, put, especially white women, because remember, Trump was Trump was running against Hillary Clinton, a white woman, and the white women only went for Trump, right? Now, do you think these same white women who went for Trump last time and they rejected Hillary, do you think they actually going to let Kamala Harris be the president? I, I can't I can't see it. I can't see it. I've been saying this for weeks. And look, I remember, I'm a, I'm a, not, okay, I'm an audio dramatist, but I'm also an archivist. I'm, 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 I'm an interviewer, right? And for the last two months, I've been hanging out with, with this Republican, this trumpet, this, this guy who was the original Tea Party guy. In fact, I went to the last two Republican meetings and the Republicans are fired up. Democrats, all they do is put their little lawn signs up. Whether they show up or not, I don't know. But the Republicans, they got their flags you ain't got no Biden flags. Look, I don't know what y'all thinking, but I don't think this is going to come out the way, it, it, however it turns out. It ain't going to turn out in the way of the downtrodden. The downtrodden, y'all, we are done. They even got this thing. Now, I just heard this out from um, Redacted Tonight. There's a new, you, you, you know, Obama and then brought in, brought in Uber, killed the unions and brought in Uber, that whole Uber thing, you know, and this whole, uh, with the house, with, with you know, with, uh, with you know, the, the well, you can use your app to do stuff like that. You know, they have an app that to evict people right now, people who can't pay their rent. They're hiring people, other downtrodden people, to evict them. Look, it's a mess. It's going to be more of a mess. So I don't know if you understand what's going on. But look, get ready. And, 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 and it's hold up on supplies, it ain't going to help you. The only thing you can do right now, I'm telling you, is you have to do your research. I would even say even go to political meetings if you can. You know, put your mask on, mask up, go to political meetings, right? And and question these people, put them, put put the, put the low level people, put them on a thing. Those people, in the, you know, I was saying to uh, black man, I, I talked to black man every week, just uh, just yesterday, last night. I said, you know, y'all, you got to get rid of Jerry, Jerry Nadler, people like that. You got to get rid of them. They, those people in San Francisco, you know, get rid of Nancy Pelosi. You got to get rid of these people. You got to vote them out of office. Those sheriffs and those judges, you got to vote them out of office. This is your chance to get to the top of the ticket. We're not talking about them. You have to vote. You have to concentrate. Okay. Again, I'm not talking to nobody. I'm not suggesting any. Yeah, I'm suggesting a whole bunch. I'm suggesting because it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to bed, letting you know what I definitely suspect.